how to do an oil change on a CF Moto 450NK or probably SS or anything else using that motor. So you need to get yourself some oil, an oil filter, and some crush washers. For tools, you'll need a 17 millimeter socket and a five millimeter Allen. And then you'll need something to put that oil in. And I suggest some cardboard to put under that. Recommend some gloves, some paper towels, and some contact cleaner. First thing you'll want to do is go ahead and start that motorcycle up and let it get nice and warm. And while it's warming up, let's go ahead and get our cardboard down and our oil collector. And we also need to take off this fairing here using that five millimeter Allen. That'll give us access to the drain bolt. Now the bike is all the way warmed up. Let's go ahead and shut it off and remove the oil drain plug with the 17 millimeter socket. And remember to get the crush washer. It could be stuck to the engine, could be stuck to the bolt, could have fallen into the oil. Remember to wipe the drain bolt off. And this is a magnetic drain bolt. So you should see a little bit of material on the end of it. That is normal. Just wipe it off. Once it goes down to a slow drip, you can go and reinstall the drain bolt with a new crush washer and tighten to 25 Newton meters or 17 foot pounds. Then slide everything just a little bit forward so you can do the oil filter. This should only be hand tight, so it shouldn't require any tools. Although occasionally they are a little bit snug and a filter wrench can be helpful. Unscrew it and let the oil drain out. While that's draining out, let's get the new filter and let's take a little bit of oil and put it on the ring. Now, because this filter goes on sideways, there's no point trying to pre-fill the oil filter ahead of time. Just put it on dry. The engine will be fine. Screw that new filter on and it should only be hand tight. Snug it down, but don't go crazy. Then it's not a bad idea to use a little contact cleaner and clean off all the old oil. Now let's move over to the other side of the bike and remove the filler cap. Put a funnel in and start filling it up. Now we want to get the oil between the two slashes in the oil window. And remember, this needs to be done with the bike upright, not on kickstand. If you do this on kickstand, you will way overfill it, and that is not good. And while you're filling, you're going to notice that the oil is running down the window, so it's a little tricky to tell exactly how full it is. I suggest stopping every few moments and letting the oil settle so you can get an accurate reading. Get the oil up between the two levels, put the cap back on, and now we need to start the engine to purge the air out of the oil filter. Run the engine for 15 to 20 seconds, then turn the engine back off, and you'll notice the level's a little bit low. Go ahead and top it back off again. Let's go ahead and fire up the bike one more time. Let it run for about a minute, turn it off, let the oil settle. If you still need to top it off some more, go ahead and do that. Then I would just run it again just to make sure it settles back at the right level. Then use a little bit of contact cleaner and wipe everything down again. And with that, your oil is changed. Hopefully that helps. If you have any questions, put them in the comments down below. You'll find a link for all the things in the description. See you next time.